fine child pose. Fine child pose. This sweet little spot. So today, maybe your child's pose is different. Because how do you know if something's better if you don't play around with it? How do you know that you couldn't find something uh, more satisfying? So maybe that's with your arms in front of you, or maybe it's with your arms behind you. Maybe your knees are wider today, or maybe they're closer together. So in all of these poses, none of them, not one of them, is static until you find that place that you are satisfied, you're comfortable, and there's some ease. So maybe today you think about ease. It's like my new favorite word. So as you breathe, you find ease in the length of your inhale and the length of your exhale. And when you put the attention on your breath with the sole intent of just ease, go figure, you find ease. So really slowly, as slow as you can, take the inhale in through your nose, see if you can feel it come across the back of your throat, and then open up your mouth and ah, let it go out kind of slow. And then start to walk your hands over to the right. And maybe you drop your right arm behind you anywhere it wants to be. Maybe it just flops on the ground. Maybe it's slightly bent. And take that inhale here. And a nice loud exhale. And then they hands kind of slowly, gently walk across the floor to the other side. And again, you're just looking for ease. Ease in your breath, ease in your shoulders, in your hip, finding your heel a little more closely. And you take another slow inhale. This time maybe even more of your lungs are filled. And the exhale is even slower and maybe even louder. And then you walk them back into the center. And again, it doesn't matter where your arms are. You cannot get this wrong. They don't have to be stick straight in front of you. They can be soft. And take one more slow inhale. And a nice, steady, loud, long exhale. And when you're ready, you'll gently float yourself up to the tabletop, taking some attention to where you place your hands. They're underneath your shoulders. Knees are under your hips. And if I were you, I would close my eyes and move around through cat-cow. And know that this is another place where you let the thinking part of what am I supposed to do, that goes out the window. It's the feeling part of what would feel great right about now. So maybe that's flipping your wrists around. Maybe that's shifting into your hips. For some of us, it could be dolphin coming down to the elbows, opening up the shoulder. Maybe you spin your heels around or your ankles. Maybe your head goes from side to side. But it's all about feel, never about think. And when you're ready, you'll get into a tabletop position, nice and steady. Strong core. Inhale, right leg kicks back behind you. And then reach the left arm forward. Find a lot of length here. And then exhale, connect underneath you and round. Inhale, find more length. Exhale, really round. Feel your belly towards your spine. Inhale, make it really long. Exhale, connect it. And then inhale, make it long, float the arm to the side, reach back, grab the outside of your foot, 
kick up and stay here for at least one breath so you can find space in your shoulder. And then come back down to tabletop. Center yourself once again. Inhaling, kicking the left leg back. Reaching the right arm forward. Find some stability with your breath. And then exhale, connect underneath you. Inhale for length. Exhale, round and connect. Take your chin to inhale, make it long. Exhale, really round it. And then inhale, make it long. Float the arm to the side. Reach behind you. Grab your foot if you can. And then again, stay here for one breath, just letting your shoulder peel away from your ear. And then release it down. Curl your toes underneath you. Send your hips up to the ceiling. And the same thing for downward facing dog. Move around. Find the place of more ease. And you do that by unlocking your knees, really opening your shoulders to your kneecaps, really letting your head be heavy and dangle, maybe even shake it around. Anything that works. Really lift it out of your wrists. Tailbone stretches up to the ceiling. The whole time you're just breathing. And then inhale to the toes and shift down to the right. Softly bending your right knee is helpful to get more space in the side body. And then come over up to the middle and send it over to the other side. And again, you can put that little soft bend in your left knee and maybe the side body opens a little more. And then bring it back to the center and let your heels fall wherever they fall. So here, take a slow inhale, draw your belly in as you exhale, walking your feet towards your hands. Open your stance wide. When you have a wider stance, it's easier to be balanced. So bend your knees, shake around, maybe grab opposite elbows. You could always take your hands behind you in a bind. It just really is about feel. And sometimes trying something you don't even know that it feels better unless you try it. So give yourself that permission to do whatever, shake your head, just hang. And then you'll come back into the middle and then left knee bends deeply. Right leg to straight, right arm goes up. Float your hand off the ground if that feels better because your spine is longer. And then take that wrap and Stay here for a breath as you peel back your shoulder. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, right hand down. Left arm goes up. Perfect. And again, floating the hand wherever it feels right. And then take that wrap. Take a big breath, nice and slow, steady. Inhale, reach up high. Exhale, hands down. Shake around. Heavy, right? Everything's dripping down your spine and then you walk your feet together. At this point, you're still heavy, but knees are still bent, foreheads pretty close to your shins. On an inhale, come up halfway, straight leg, straight back, look forward. Exhale, melt right into your shins again. Inhale, reach all the way up, arms come up, and the exhale is a hinge from the hip all the way down, unlocking your knees as you pass. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, melt down. Inhale all the way up. Ride your breath to the top. And then forward fold all the way down. A moving meditation linking your breath and your movement. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, melt. Inhale, rise. Don't worry about it. Can't get it wrong. Exhale, forward fold all the way down. Inhale, half lift. This exhale, hands go to the mat fully, feet step back, and you are in a high plank. You're steady, you're strong, your core is engaged, you're lifted out of your wrists, your shoulders are strong. And now you'll shift a little forward on the inhale. Exhale, ride it down to a hover. Inhale, roll over the tops of the feet, shoulders are down. And then exhale, back over the toes, downward facing. This can be done on your knees anytime. Don't worry about it. Let's try it again. Inhale to the top of a push-up, either on the toes or the knees. 
Exhale, ride it down. Inhale, roll over the tops of the feet. Shoulders low, neck long. Exhale, back over the toes. Awesome. Now you'll inhale your right leg all the way up. Bend your knee, let your foot drop. So gravity can do it, or maybe you help it along with circles with your knee. All the while, you're breathing slow and steady. And then inhale your leg to straight. Exhale, send it through, warrior one. So the arms come up, the back heel spins down, the back arch lifts. And lower your shoulders, but reach your arms high. And then exhale, hands to the mat. Stepping back, moving through a flow. These sun salutations, they, they require so much breathing, they actually warm up your body from the inside. Inhale, left leg high. And drop the foot. Let your hip just open gently, naturally, or help it along. And then inhale to straight. Exhale, send it through. The inhale, you rise up to warrior one. Back heel is your anchor. So roll your ankle to the back foot. Back leg is strong, shoulders drop. And then maybe you notice that your rib cage is pulling towards midline, so it's not really splayed, there's no real back bend. And then exhale, hands to the floor. Step back, move through a flow. Right on. And then inhale the right leg up. Exhale, send it through, warrior one. The inhale carries you up. And then the exhale, it glides you open. And if you have to move your feet to a place of ease, then you should. So your both feet are grounded. You can feel them equally. So that'll put you right back in the middle. And then windmill the hands to the floor. Send it through the flow. High to low. And then the inhale sends the left leg high. Exhale, send it through, warrior one. Link the breath and the movement. And then glide on the exhale, warrior two. Now you might notice your shoulders, lower them. Feel the length in your neck, feel the draw in and up of your belly, and then windmill on your exhale, all the way through. It's kind of a seamless movement. Inhaling the right, leg high. Send it through to warrior one. When you get there, glide open, warrior two. Reach your arms long, turn the palm on the inhale, hinge forward on the exhale. Lift up and back and try to spiral your chest to the ceiling and look up and breathe. And then inhale back to warrior two. Windmill all the way through your flow, high to low. Easy. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, send it through. The inhale, you rise. The exhale, you glide. One breath, one movement. Inhale, flips the palm. Exhale, goes forward. Inhale, lift up and back. Feel that space in your waist because you're lifted. And then bring it back and then windmill all the way, all the way through. So good. And from downward facing dog, take a slow inhale, make it really slow, maybe a slower exhale, maybe it's loud. Just breathe. And then walk, step, or float your feet to the middle of your mat. Come up to standing kind of slow. Connect your toes, leave a little space between your heels, palms face the front wall, and shoulders, they're, it, your, your shoulder blades are hugging your spine. So try to avoid pushing your chest out. You want to be really tall. And when you're ready, lift your kneecaps, inhale, arms up overhead sideways, palms touch, interlace your fingers, cross your thumbs, release the index, but lower your shoulders. Nice. Inhale, lift up. Exhale over to the back right. So you're here. And the new image I always get in my head is you are a bendy straw. So you have to lift yourself up before you can bend. So as you 
lift higher and reach over more, you're creating this huge space on the left side. And you can help it along by backing up a half an inch, going a little higher, by relaxing your jaw, by lowering your shoulders even though you're reaching up and out of your waist, by softening your jaw. That's a big one. And then finally by lifting up your kneecaps and drawing your belly in as you continue to come up and out. So two more breaths, make them slow, find some ease. And on the last exhale, go over and find an edge. Three, two, so good. Bring it back to center, keep your arms, but lower your shoulders once again so your neck is long. And then inhale, lift up, exhale over to the back left. So it's the same thing on this side, but your body might be different. So you might have to pull your arms back a little more. You might have to loosen your neck and make your chin level to the floor so that feels easy. You might need to put more weight in your heels by lifting up your toes so you can feel upright and tall. You might need to soften your gaze and your jaw, soften your thoughts. This is a pose of finding ease in an uncomfortable place. So the more deeply and slowly you breathe, the more you get. But always know you can move around in here. You can wiggle your way higher, kind of like the bendy straw. Last inhale and last exhale brings you over for three, two. Awesome. Bring it back up to center. Let your head fall back, shake it around, but don't leave it there. Draw it right up through the middle again, and here's where you can choose a supported back bend, or maybe you keep your arms up. Legs stay straight, inhale, lift the chest, and then go back. Again, find ease, because your breath is long and steady, there's no tension, it's just ease. Three, two, slow rise, awesome, exhale, forward fold, all the way down. So this is where you can do anything that feels good. Shake around, squat down, move your head around, and then separate out your feet about six inches. So bend your knees so much that you can literally stand fully on your hands, sliding them in from fingers first, all the way to the wrist. Let your head fall, be heavy. So find the ease first. And as you exhale here with ease, draw your belly to your spine. Then you'll inhale, use the strength of your arms to pull out to the side and send the tailbone up. So the knees are starting to go back to straight, chest is laying right on your thighs, forehead's dropped right into your shins and you're breathing. For three, two, awesome. Release your hands, turn them to the front wall. Walk your feet together. Wiggle your toes, shift into your heels, sit low in a chair. Then inhale, arms come up by your ears, palms face behind you. Exhale, reach back. You could graze the floor if you're looking for a challenge. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, arms go back, knees squeeze, tailbone roots. Inhale, arms come up. So good. Exhale, reach way back. This one, everything comes up. Stand fully. Swing, right arm under left. So you're looking for surface area, skin to skin. How much skin can you touch? And then sit low. Inhale, right leg up, over, and maybe behind. And that's not as important as how much skin can you get to touch, how much surface area. Lean back, sit down, root your tail, Relax your jaw, two breaths, maybe floating your elbows higher to open your back. Three, two, perfect. Inhale, reach way high. Exhale, swing left under right. Get the wrap or the contact, sit low. Inhale, left knee up, over and behind maybe. Use a kickstand if you need it. Lean back. Soften your jaw, raise your elbows if you want, two breaths. Awesome.
Awesome. Inhale, arms come up. Palms face the back wall. Sit low in a chair, but leave your chest up. Exhale, reach back. Inhale, arms come up. Tailbone roots. Exhale, reach way back. Inhale, arms come up. Palms touch. If you'd like a challenge today, lift your heels up and open your ankles to the front wall. Highest you can go. Three, two, super good. Stand. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, move through a flow. Pull the space that you just created out of your spine. <laughs> and then you'll walk your hands back towards your feet. So come up to standing, find mountain pose. Again, that little bit of a hug of your shoulder blades. It's not so much of a splay of your rib cage, so you're not, there's no curve in your back. Your tailbone's down. And when you're ready, inhale the right knee directly in front of the right hip. Flex your foot. So you really want to engage every muscle that you can. And t stay here for a few breaths so you can figure out how to make yourself even more stable by engaging muscles of the standing leg. This is a beautiful place to be. So if you want to stay here, no problem. If you'd like, you can leave your knee right there and grab the knee or come down to the ball of the foot. If you grab the knee, open up the chest. If you grab the foot, open up the chest. And then the final expression is rounding forehead to knee by drawing the belly towards your spine. For three, two, step down on the right, arms come overhead, left toes hit the back wall, one straight line, a seesaw really, you're long, you're occupying space, so reach forward, push back for three, two, slowly rise, nice, find mountain pose again. First two fingers and thumb on the right, pick up the right big toe or the knee. So wherever you are, be sure that the right shoulder is rolled up and back and it's level once again. And again, this is a great place to stay. Some days, even though maybe you've done something before, every day is different. So take it breath by breath. Notice the tension in the muscles. And if you're ready, you might kick or swing your knee open. Either way. Your spine is tall. You're breathing easy. You're doing fine. And then float the leg right back into the center. Kick it as high as you can. Reach as high as you can. Slightly leaning forward to activate the core. So good. And then step down and hinge slowly right into warrior three. Chest is forward. Standing leg is straight. Back foot is flexed. So push your heels in the back wall. Hands come to your chest. Reach in front of you. Pull your arms up by your ears. That kicks your back into activation and then come back and find mountain pose. Right elbow bends at right hip, palm faces up, reach behind you, get the inside of your foot or your ankle without turning your wrist, right? Left arm goes up to the sky and stay here for the first couple of breaths. You want to find alignment first. It is so much easier when you find the alignment. So what does that look like? The knees are touching. The arm is super straight up in the sky. And you can feel the, oppos the, the opposition of the reach and the pull. And you want to keep that reach and pull. So if you decide to stay here, perfect. If you decide to kick, the kick comes from the knee. So the knee is going to lift up, equal reach and pull, and it will automatically balance you for three, two, Right on, bringing it back. Take big inhale, arms come up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, going through a flow. Easy breath, easy. Perfect. And then the hands walk back towards the feet once again. Slowly come up to stand. 
find mountain pose again. Your toes are touching, little bump of light. You're super tall. And then the inhale sends the left knee right in front of your left foot. And you flex your toes, you flex your foot up. And again, just feel it, right? So you can feel if you're shifted into a hip or if you're a little wobbly. And none of that is bad, it's just indicators of which muscles you can activate. So if you're ready, you might grab the knee or the foot. If you have the foot, you might gently kick forward. There is an equality in the kick in your hand and onto the floor. And then you might round forehead to knee. Wherever you are, it does not matter. What matters is, are you breathing? Three, two, step down on the left. Send the right toes to the back wall, hands to the front, balancing stick one straight line. Standing leg is straight. That will give you the best chance at being steady for three, two, slowly come back up and reset nice and tall once again. Left two fingers and thumb pick up the left big toe or the knee either. Does not matter. Tree is another option here. And then take the left shoulder, roll it up and back so that you are tall and even. And this is where moment by moment, how do you know? Well, if you have any tension or wobble, just stay put and breathe. And then if you're ready, you'll kick forward. Maybe swing open like a gate. Standing leg is straight, chest is up. Perfect. And then float the leg back into the middle, reach as high as you can, kick as high as you can and then step down and slowly hinge with your exhale into warrior three. Feels like your chest is going forward, your foot is going back, your standing leg is straight. Hands to chest, reach forward, extend as long as you can for three, two, so good, coming back up, right on. Left elbow bends at left hip, palm will face up. Reach behind you, get the inside of the foot or ankle. Reach the right arm to the ceiling. L knees have to line up. You know that when your knees are lined up, your hips are lined up. So again, you can't get this wrong, so just take the time to find the alignment. And you'll know, it'll feel like, I think I want to kick. It'll feel like fun. It won't feel like tension. So if you want to stay here, stay here. Otherwise you'll lift your knee and play around with the kick and the reach for three, two, slow rise, reset, inhale arms up, exhale forward fold, inhale half lift, exhale moving through a flow. Taking all the time you want. And if you're interested in a sip of water, this is a good spot. Otherwise, we will move along with some more movement. Wherever you are, continue with that steady breath, easy. So if you're ready, find yourself in downward facing dog. Take a slow inhale through the nose. A nice loud exhale through the mouth. Start it out. And then inhale the right leg high. On the exhale, send it through warrior one. Then glide, warrior two. Turn the palm, hinge forward, go up, back. Lift and breathe. Perfect, bring it back chin to the back wall, side angle, elbow to knee or hand to floor, left arm reaches long to the front wall, find space, left hand comes down, spin up on the back toe, right arm goes high, lean back, pull the right knee towards you, so don't let it come out, that's it, and then inhale, reach up high, exhale, circle around, drop down to the elbows, you could drop to your knee, just let your head fall. 
If you like arm balances, this is a setup. Perfect. Place the hand on the inside of the foot. Back heel spins down, left arm goes high. A deeper side angle. Exhale, wrap, maybe bind. Breathe. So good. Come around to a low lunge. I would start on your knee, hand to chest, lift up and twist, elbow past the knee. And once you get your shoulders down, then float the knee off the ground. Perfect. Big breath. And then release the hands to the floor. Step back and float. The inhale sends the left leg high. Exhale, send it through warrior one. Breath to movement as best you can. Glide open, warrior two. Really good. Turn the palm, hinge forward, up, back. Big lift, big inhale, big exhale. Bring it back. Side angle, elbow to knee or hand to floor. Right arm goes to the ceiling. Right arm goes to the front wall. Find space. Right hand comes down, spin up in the back toe. Lean back and take a wrap as you exhale. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, circle around, coming down. You can drop to your knee. This could be an arm balance or just let your head fall. Place the hand on the inside of your foot. Spin the back heel down, right arm goes high a deeper side angle so lean back take a wrap or a bind shoulders draw away from your ears perfect coming to a low lunge hands begin at your chest press your palms lift tall and twist elbow past the knee again guide your shoulders away from your ears find ease release the hands to the floor step back and flow. Beautiful. Inhale, right leg comes high. On the exhale, send it through to warrior two. So you glide up, you find your feet, you put them where you like them, even if you move them. So you feel steady, even, balanced. Then straighten the front leg, turn the toes inward so the heels are outward. Turn the palms to the ceiling, a big back bend, a big inhale. And then an exhale all the way down, forward fold. So you could pull your chest towards your thighs or you could choose maybe a headstand. Either way, you'll be here for about three breaths as you draw your body closer and breathe. Perfect. Completing your exhale, and as you inhale, float yourself back up. Find warrior two. Now a side plank. Left hand comes down to the mat. Right foot goes back. Right arm goes up. Push up your hip. Maybe flip dog. Maybe float your leg. Either way, just breathe. Nice, steady, easy breath. And then the hand comes to the mat. You can stay in a high plank for five counts, or maybe you like to do push-ups on your knees or your toes. It's whatever you're feeling today, whatever your body is looking for. And then you'll move through a flow, high to low, up to down. And the inhale sends the left leg way high. Exhale, send it through to warrior two. Again, take the time to find your feet where you like them, where it feels good, where you feel balanced and tall. Then straighten the front leg. Toes turn in. This time, hands come behind you, palms pressed together. Big back bend on the inhale. Exhale, forward fold all the way down. So as you're pressing your palms together, this is really an inversion. So let your head kind of shake around. Let your body kind of sway. There is some ease here, even in the bind. And the more you find it, the more things open. 
and then inhale half lift only arms go out to the side right hand on the floor left arm to the ceiling and this is where maybe you want to walk your right hand to your left foot and get a deeper spinal twist and then maybe you want to wrap and if you do wrap pull your shoulder away from your ear inhale reach up high exhale left hand down right arm goes up find length and then decide maybe your hand moves over maybe you wrap but the key is to just breathe slowly and easily inhale reach up high exhale hands to your waist the inhale strong lift into warrior two now it's a side plank right hand spins to the mat left foot goes back left arm goes high this could be on your knee it could be on your foot it could be flip dog anything you like big huge inhale and exhale bringing it back to a high plank five push-ups or maybe just hold the plank that works too and then you'll flow high to low up to down so flow three is usually a little more um, intense is a good word so take a slow inhale and an exhale to set yourself up we're going to take it slow so just move to the rhythm of your breath it's no there's no rush inhale right leg high exhale send it through to warrior one glide open warrior two straighten the front leg turn the palm hinge forward go up back reverse triangle two straight legs lift it out of your waist you're breathing hands arms come back to neutral hinge forward and then find right hand to shin or knee or floor left arm reaches so long to the front wall right hand meets the left hand for some core hands to the floor back foot steps in half lift with the upper body exhale forward fold two straight legs forehead to knee just let yourself hang left hand stays low right arm goes high extend the spine exhale take a wrap inhale reach up high exhale hand to the floor inhale left leg lifts up body goes halfway up warrior three hands to your chest hands to the floor right hand right ankle or calf forehead goes to your shin just breathe release the hand to the floor or hover it off the floor left arm goes up back foot flexes and this is where you want to go slow rotate around gently easily hands to your chest left hand goes down right arm goes up so good for three two hands to the floor step back and flow really nice then the inhale sends the left leg high exhale send it through warrior one lots of breath ease glide warrior two straighten the front leg flip the palm go forward up back open up your ribs with a full inhale and a full exhale and then bringing it back hinging forward triangle hand to shin or knee or floor right arm reaches so long to the front wall bottom hand meets the top take a breath hands to the floor the inhale is just a half lift the exhale forward fold over your leg you can bump your back foot in a little if it's easier right hand stays low left arm goes high extend your spine and then wrap then reach 
Exhale, hands to the floor. Inhale, back leg lifts. Standing leg is straight. Hands to the chest. Standing split. Easy, go slow. Pull forehead to shin. Release your hand, half moon. Right arm goes up. Flex the back foot. We move slowly. Rotate around. Hands to your chest. Right hand down, left arm high. Three, two. So very nice. Hands to the mat. Step back. Move through a flow. Then the inhale sends the right leg high. On the exhale, send it through to crescent. So you're up on your back toe, the arms are high. Guide the back knee to the floor. Easy, easy. Relax your back foot. Opposite elbows. Big lean over to the right. Make sure you breathe. Big lean over to the left. Open up the side body. And then right in the middle, two steady, slow breaths with a back bend of your choice. Just take the time. and then slowly bring it forward. Half splits or full splits, either is up to you. If you have a block and you place the block underneath your sit bone and put it directly under your sit bone, that helps a lot with splits. But the deal with splits is that you wanna move with your breath, not the force of your muscle. So wherever you are, just relax as much as you can. And then you'll slowly start to walk your foot off to the edge of your mat. Keep it slightly in front of you. Tip the knee out to the side. Take the right shoulder, roll it up and back. Maybe come down to your elbow. Twisted monkey. So there's a lot going on in this pose. So once you've found some ease, you might want to reach back and grab the back foot. Take a full breath if you do. And then find yourself in pigeon. So the knee goes off to the edge. Nice and easy. So here, Again, find ease, right? So if you're on your elbows, maybe you draw your arms somewhere behind you, let them flop on the floor. Maybe it's just the right arm. Two more complete inhales and exhales. How long can you make them? When you feel ready, you'll move through a flow, or you'll just go back into downward facing dog, whichever makes sense for you. And then the inhale sends the left leg high. Then the exhale, send it through to crescent. The arms come up. The knee slides gently to the floor. Relax your toes. Grab opposite elbows. This is a lean to the left. Open up your chest. Pull your arms back if you can. And then over to the right. And then it's back in the middle for any kind of back bend you like, but two long, steady breaths as you lift your chest to the ceiling. And then forward fold right over your straight leg. Half splits, full splits. There's so many different ways. The truth is, if you're feeling a stretch, then you've got it. You, you made it. <laughs> I 
when you're ready, you'll find Twisted Monkey. The foot walks off to the edge. It's a little farther up on the mat. And you tip the knee out to the side, maybe coming to the elbow if you wish. Now it's the left shoulder that kind of rolls up and back so that you're looking at the ceiling. And this is where you might reach behind you and get your foot. Easy, easy. And now you'll find Pigeon on the left. So again, find that spot that feels good, that you have enough of a stretch. It's not painful, it's not uncomfortable, but it's definitely noticeable. And maybe the arms flop somewhere behind you. And here you'll take two more long, slow inhales and exhales. See how long you can get them. And then you might go through the last flow of the day, taking all the time you can. And then you'll find child's pose. This one might be different. Maybe the knees are wider. Maybe they're closer together. Maybe the arms are in a different spot. One really slow inhale, slow exhale. And you'll slowly wind yourself up, laying on your back, or bridge or wheel, whichever you like. So, whichever you choose, the feet are in the same spot. They're close to you, they're on, they're straight. If you like bridge, the arms are gonna come underneath you as you lift your hips. If you like wheel, the hands go by your shoulders. And if you have your hands underneath you, draw your knuckles towards your heels as you guide your shoulders lower and wherever you choose to be two steady full breaths and then you'll slowly wind your spine down like a zipper onto the floor pulling your knees into your chest roll around or maybe grab your feet for happy baby whichever again the whole purpose of this practice is to find ease and then the feet will go up and you'll gently lower them to the floor so that you can send the arms over your head and double exhale to a seated position to turn around and lay on your back I'm sorry, not your back. Ha, ah, just seeing if you're paying attention on your stomach. <laughs> Perfect. And then your hands go right by your rib cage. And your feet zip up and your knees glue together and your heels glue together. And it's a very slight lift of your chest. It's not a big movement. So lift up. And while you're here, Slowly turn your head to the left as you breathe and then slowly turn it to the right and then bring it back to the center and relax. Everything is heavy, easy. Feet flop out, no engagement whatsoever. And the next one, you'll interlace your hands behind you, press your palms, legs zip up again everything is lifting so lift everything off the ground see if you can push your hips forward it sounds funny but you want to get the sensation of moving forward and then relax everything down and 
the next one is your choice either upward facing dog so hands would go by your ribs or floor bow you would grab the inside of your feet or your ankles much like standing bow and wherever you choose to be lift up if you're an upward facing dog shoulders low and then try to get your toes to touch your head and breathe perfect push back into child's pose on your exhale As you slowly wind yourself up, you come around to sit on your mat. The right leg is going to go out long, kind of off to the side. You're going to get really tall and then you're going to slightly shift to the right and reach out over your leg to get the ball of your foot. And once you get there, lower your left hip back down to the floor by allowing your left shoulder to relax. slowly rise up change your legs left leg goes out the right foot goes on the inside of the thigh there you go get tall extend out and reach long you might even notice that there's differences on in each side and you can kind of breathe that away Slowly bring yourself back up. Send your legs out straight and long. Get tall. Reach up and extend out. So here you want to try to draw your shoulders back so that your spine is as long as it possibly can be. And spending about two or three breaths here, elongating your spine, and using your exhale to just let yourself go towards your feet. And eventually, your forehead will go right into your shins. Now slowly bring yourself up. Either turn around on your back or you can just lay down. It doesn't really matter. And you'll choose whatever inversion you like. And my suggestion to you is that you go one step at a time and you notice if there's any tension that's your clue to stay there until your breathing can take that tension away so sometimes it's just your feet up to the ceiling sometimes it's a block underneath your tailbone that's my favorite sometimes it's shoulder stand but breath by breath you'll notice that you can find ease and as you bring yourself back down the right knee will come into the right rib cage left leg goes long onto the floor knee draws the knee across the side your left hand will draw your knee across and wherever you put your knee kind of the depth of the twist so if you want more you'll draw your knee closer to your chest while you're here take a slow inhale a very slow exhale and then slowly come back into the middle left knee comes in give it a squeeze and then guide it across and again place it where you like it place it where there's ease nice long breath here And then come back into the center and make whatever adjustments you need so that you can be 
so comfortable. There's no real right way for this. It's just whatever position that you find that you can let go of any muscle tension. Starting out with your eyes, let them soften your jaw, even your, your neck, your throat. Shoulders find the floor a little more. Hands kind of loosen. Feet feel heavy. This is the space. It's almost like a bank account. The longer you stay here in ease, the more filled up with it you get the more of it is available to you. So for the next minute or so, disengage. Let your breathing be whatever it's going to be. Let your mind focus on clouds. I truly hope that you found so much ease that you can stuff your pockets filled with ease and you carry it with you all day and all week. You all sure make me happy, so thank you. Namaste.